The TNP Prime is the latest generation of appliance tester from Wavecon. In this video, we will demonstrate how to test residual current devices with the TNP Prime. With the latest firmware updates, the TNP Prime can test all portable ICDs without an isolation transformer. For this method, you will need the Orange IEC 550 lead, as well as the TNP Prime power cable. Plug the Orange IEC 550 cable into the portable ICD, and if the ICD has a switch, switch on that outlet. Remember to test each outlet of your ICD. Plug in the portable ICD into the appliance test socket of the TNP Prime. Then plug in the Orange IEC 550 cable into the IEC Earth return. Connect the power cable to the IEC power socket of your tester. Finally, plug the power cable into a GPO and switch it on. Again, check that the portable RCD is active by flipping the RCD switch to on or pressing the reset button. When testing using this method, you will need to turn portable RCD testing on. We will cover this later on in the video. If the previous method fails or you have an older firmware version, you can test portable RCDs using the inline method. For this, you will need the TNP Prime power cable, a Wavecom isolation transformer, and the isolation transformer power cable. Connect the TNP Prime power cable to the IEC power socket of your tester. Then plug in the TNP Prime power cable to the portable RCD. Plug in the portable RCD to the isolation transformer. Then plug in the power cable into the IEC port on the rear of the isolation transformer. Finally, plug the power cable into a GPO and switch it on. Check that the portable RCD is active by flipping the RCD switch to on or pressing the reset button. When testing portable RCDs using this method, you will need to turn portable RCD testing off. We will cover this later on in the video. Let's move on to testing portable RCDs. We'll start with a ramp current test. First, we conduct our visual inspection and determine what type of RCD we have. This example is a type 2 portable RCD. Set up your test leads. In this example, we are using the updated test method. If in doubt, consult your TNP Prime user manual. If you are using the WinPats Android app, you can conduct this test directly from the tablet. First, enter the item into your database. From the home screen, tap Add. Fill in the item's details, assign a test sequence, then tap Add Equipment. For this test, select the ICD ramp test procedure. You should now be viewing your new item's details. You can also view the details of an existing item by scanning the barcode on the item's tag or searching for the unique barcode. Tap Start Test, then select your testing options. For this testing method, turn Portable RCD testing on. When your test options are set, tap Start Test to proceed. Conduct the visual inspection and select the appropriate result. The test will only proceed if the device under test passes the visual inspection. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on your tablet. You can then save the results and print a tag. You can also conduct this test manually. However, your results won't be saved and you won't be able to print a tag. To conduct a manual RCD ramp current test, navigate to main menu B using the enter button, then press F3 to enter the RCD menu, then press F2 to select ramp test. Press F2 to set the RCD type. We are testing a type 2 RCD in this example, so we press F3. You will then be prompted to enable or disable portable RCD testing. 
As we are using the updated test method, we will need to press F3 to enable portable RCD testing. Now we can press F3 to begin our test. The current is steadily increased until the RCD trips. When the test is complete, your results will appear on screen. Let's try a trip time test now. Conduct the visual inspection and identify the RCD type. Set up the test leads. In this example, we are going to use the inline method. If in doubt, consult your TNP Prime user manual. If you are using the WinPats Android app, you can conduct this test directly from the tablet. Enter the item into your database. Fill in the item's details, assign a test sequence, then tap Add Equipment. Tap Start Test, then select your testing options. For this testing method, turn portable RCD testing off. You will need to test both the 0 degree and 180 degree phases of the RCD. Select the 0 degree phase to start with. When your test options are set, tap Start Test to proceed. Conduct the visual inspection and select the appropriate result. The test will only proceed if the device under test passes the visual inspection. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on your tablet. As we mentioned, you will need to test both phases of the RCD. Tap Retest to test the other phase. Change the phase setting to 180 degrees, then tap Start Test. Select the appropriate visual inspection result and the test will begin. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on your tablet. You can then save the results and print a tag. You can also conduct this test manually. However, your results won't be saved and you won't be able to print a tag. To conduct a manual RCD trip time test, navigate to main menu by using the enter button then press F3 to enter the RCD menu, then press F1 to select Trip Time Test. Press F3 to enter the RCD Settings menu. Here, you can adjust the trip current as well as change the RCD type. Press F2 to set the trip current. The trip current can be adjusted up or down in 1 milliamp increments. Set your desired trip current, then press F3 to save your results. Press F3 to set the RCD type. In this example, we are testing a Type 2 RCD, so we will press F3. Then, because we are using the inline test method, we will turn portable RCD testing off. Press Enter to disable portable RCD testing. You will need to measure both phases of the RCD to fully complete a trip time test. Press F1 to select 0 degree phase, then set the RCD multiplier. You can test your RCD trip time at the stated current, 30 milliamps in this example, or at 5 times the stated current, 150 milliamps. Now we can press F3 to begin our test. The TNP Prime will send the selected current to the portable RCD and measure the trip time. When the test is complete, your results will appear on screen. Repeat the test for the opposite phase, using the same settings to ensure consistent results. If your RCD does not pass the trip time test on both phases, it has failed and should be removed from service. To learn more about the TNP Prime, visit our website. www.wavecom.com.au